you'll get sweat, you'll get fog. And when one point can make all the difference in a championship or not, you really can't risk it. Now, that being said, I do wear eye guards in every match I play. What do you mean? Well, I sure hope not. You know, I did play in the Nash Cup before. Briefly. Yeah, that's not the case. Uh, you know, I don't remember. I don't remember. I'm sure it was quite impressive. I might have won a game. Might have won a game. Speaking of games, good first rally here, feeling each other out. A little loose there. Interesting comment here from William Rice saying, Andrew got hit in the face in the last tournament and has started wearing eye guards. That's really interesting. Yeah. Yep. Hey, thanks, William. That's, I didn't know that. And uh, Lee Bizanet, I don't know if that's a man or a woman based on the name, uh, says, played a lot of squash back in my prison days. Well, that's, uh, thanks for the comment, Lee. That's a little disturbing. Nope. Nothing else happened in prison. They just go there to play squash and redeem themselves. So I've only seen one match, and that was his last night uh, appearance. And he was really, really effective at dominating the team. He volleyed everything and took it in. Okay, now Derek's filming. I don't like this one thing. Anyways, back to the, the match here. He was very, very good at dominating the midcourt. He volleyed every shot he could, and he was great at just curving that ball in short. And not to say the rest of the game is not good too, but it was really, really difficult for anyone to get him off the feet. We'll see if that's the case with Andrew. Uh, he is a pretty experienced player. Knows how to maneuver the ball around the court. Knows how to play. He's not going to get tired. Now, he, he's got a better length than that. Yep. Andrew's hitting quite a few loose shots in the beginning of this match, which is surprising. That's not really typical of this game. Yeah, might be some early jitters here from Douglas. Oh, apparently uh, Dylan says Andrew might be sponsored by Rhea Eyewear. Rhea. Never heard of them, but now I want to. Yeah, we will ask him. We'll, we'll get to the bottom of this one, don't worry. We're paid reporters here. This is important work. Yes, he does. Yeah. It might be. Uh, I know when, growing up when I played, I was taught to have a big follow through. Um, but I was fortunately for myself, perhaps, not a very good learner or listener, so I didn't do that. But it, that might have happened. Yeah. Were you in the wrong place, or was that my fault? Okay, yeah. Well, that's just kind of how a lot of juniors are taught to swing the racket. You need that big follow through to create the momentum on the ball. But his is a little bit excessive. Yes. Oh. All right. That was interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you'll see this to be the first game to be essentially just this. And it won't be until game two or three. Probably the third game where the players really start to expand their shot repertoire. That's right, I said repertoire. Did I say it right? Yes. Oh, that's good.
we got a comment here saying we can hear Derek, but also cannot hear him. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Is your headset not working properly? Yeah, that's true. No one else has complained. Yeah, Andrew's length is. Um, Andrew's length is not quite good enough yet uh, at the level it was even last night. It's a little loose, coming up a little bit short here. He's really got to get Malik off the tee, and as I was saying earlier, Malik is really good falling midcourt and dominating that space. No. Yep. Yep. And now 6-3 Malik. I mean, he's... He hasn't had to do anything spectacular. He's just had to stay in the midcourt and take that. Yep. Yeah, like even that. See, like, oh, he might get lucky there. That was a bad shot from Malik. But it started with a, a poor length from, you know, Douglas. And, has to get that tighter. He's got to get it deeper. He's got to bounce past the service box. And these courts really, really do reward a good length. You can hit a nice length, get it bouncing past from the bottom of the service box, you will die. Or at least die enough that they're not going to hurt you. headset is not working properly it really has been. yeah it's been some of the best insight Derek's ever had and yeah Derek's yeah I mean you haven't had much but this tonight was really really insight insightful I was impressed but you're not playing it's one of the best matches he's not played but commentated on so that, that's fair sure Oh, that's, yeah, that's a little sloppy. It's a little sloppy from Andrews. Yeah, he got, he, he was lucky to get away with that. He was given, uh, Malik was given a nice opening there at the front. And, and Douglas just, well, flipped the coin. Big golf, eh? Well, see you later. Now the ball, of course, we've seen tonight in this, this whole tournament, the ball in the first game or two is, Always oh, really lively. Uh, the, the courts are not quite as hot as they have been in the past few years of this event, where we had uh, some players having to switch out shoes after a couple games because they were too sweaty. No, that wasn't Richards. That wasn't Richards. It was Joel Macon. His shoes were so sweaty, he was sweating through the soles of the shoes somehow. It seems impossible, but he was. And the ref actually let Joel go to the change room and change his shoes. Mid-game. That's int I never knew that, and I have also never sweat enough to make that a real thing. Yeah, that's for the best. Anyways, that was a random heat wave. Usually it's quite warmer here in London at this time of year, but it's cooler right now, but the ball is still really lively. It will slow down in the second and third games as these guys uh, beat the life out of it, but... Yeah, and and he, he's let uh, Douglas come back in this game. He had a pretty good lead. He's missed a few key shots. But I, I did expect from, from Douglas. To, oh, that was bad. That was a really unfortunate mistake there. Goes for a short drop in the front right. and I mean, he even hit the 10. That hit the floor first. That's kind of something I would do. Oh, I mean, I haven't done it ever, but I, I could, you know, I could do that. Well, now it's a tie game, we got 7-7. Seven, seven.
Uh, that was, yeah, we'll see what happens in this rally. This is a big one here. Douglas is kind of finding his groove. Yeah, he's finding his groove a bit. And Malik has kind of stepped back half a step from the T. It's interesting. Yeah. I, I'm curious. Yes, yeah, and I'm, I'm wondering now if it's more, is it, is it Andrew stepping up more, playing the game over, is Malik taking a half step back, or is it, I mean, more likely a combination of the two. That was a poor choice. First post on the back left. Yeah. I think he's realized that Malik is a guy that likes to play on the tee. And uh, yeah, his length has gotten better. Yeah. It is really good to see. There's almost, well, I mean, that, as you spoke, yeah, that was, I mean, you, you could say it was a safety let, sure. Um, he had plenty of room to, to swing the racket there. Sure, he could have done it. Did he know Andrew was that far away? Eh, probably not, but you never know. Just a let. Life goes on. Yeah, the. I'm. Yeah, it's interesting because um, you normally, back in the day, you wouldn't see that many lefties, and uh, now it, it seems almost more common. That was a nice. That was a nice little shot there. I don't know what do you mean by descendary. Oh, that was a big point. Big point. 10 8. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Douglas would be served a, a bit better by trying to raise the height of the plank a bit. Um, were, like, even that, even if better to overhit it a little bit than have it too short, because not like it's shown. That was a nice shot. That was a great shot. Malik is uncertain, but it's more around he's upset that it was such a good shot. Yeah. That was really, that was really nice. You really do, yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, uh, it was a little curious earlier, but I guess it was work hours. It was kind of half full. And now there's not one seat available. Uh, see that right there? He, he just likes to hit it hard sometimes, and it's not the right shot. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Yep. Yep. But it stemmed from that one shot. It really stemmed from that one shot. First game to Malik. Yeah, let's give a, a big shout out here to uh, Duffield, Bill Duffield, one of the founding members of the London Squash Club. Here's a nice to watch. He might do an exhibition later as well. He is uh, 90, 93 years old. Yes, we are. This is a Duffield court that the players are on right now. And uh, he's, there really is, yeah. Well, not all of it, Derek. Not all of it. Maybe some of it should be just hidden under a rug. But I understand what you're trying to say. We will pick and choose. That's true. Yep, Saturday at Western uh, University, for those who don't know. Jack Ferris, uh, for with the coach. He was my coach when I was at Western. Coached the team from about 1950-ish until 2000 and 
team. Yep. Yep. Funny story about Jack, he retired as a professor. He was also a professor at Western University. He retired in the 90s, and he made a joke that he threw a big retirement party. No one showed up, so then on Monday, he went back to work and just kept working. And, uh, and then he kept working for another like 25, 30 years. Ninety-eight years old. He was ninety-eight, and I'll tell you a story about Jack. Uh, I used to golf with Jack maybe once a week or so, and this was back when he was in his eighties. And he would walk the course. He was probably like eighty-four to eighty-eight at the time. We played for a number of years. Wow, great rally here. I gotta, I gotta pause for one second until this rally's over. This is some great work. Yeah, Douglas is here to really put an effort this first point. This is a mental rally. Yep, there you go, stroke. Can't argue that call. So, uh, Jack had to go in for some heart surgery, get a, a valve replaced. And I saw him in the hospital, and he, you know, he didn't look like he was doing too well. And we all thought, well, maybe, maybe this might be it for Jack. Three weeks later, he comes out, he plays around a golf with us. Walk in the course, and then says, hey guys, do you mind if on the back nine I, I just rent a cart? Like, yeah, we are actually shocked right here at all. He goes, well, I only asked because I, I played a couple uh, matches of tennis with my wife this morning, and I'm just a little tired. Like, Jack, you're 88 years old. You just had a heart surgery done. Okay, sure. By the way, he shot his age that day. That's not even a joke. He shot his age. I believe it was an 88. Yep. Douglas has picked up the intensity, and uh, look at that. Yep. That is a nice length right there. He's probably watching this stream in between games. He's uh, going through the comments. Yep, yep, makes sense. That is a, that's an unfortunate miss there. You know, you, you're down three love, you're given a freebie there in the front, and you miss it. Oh, a lucky frame winner there by uh, Douglas to go up five love. Oh, uh, for my brother, Chris Hanover. Well, that's, that's interesting, sure. No comments uh, recently. Well, we have 73 viewers right now, which is fantastic. Uh, they're all quite quiet. It really is, yeah. Maybe it's us. It must be us. What suggestions do you have to place someone you to place someone using pace? I think it's what Lee said. So Lee, it depends on the. That's actually not an easy answer. Ooh, they're making him a stroke there. You get a bit of room, but I think from upstairs we're gonna get that one a stroke. Yeah. So Lee, I would say it depends on the person. Uh, if you're playing a person that has pace and they're out of shape or you think you're in better shape than they are, I would really just kind of lob them around, make them run and waste their energy. But if you're paying someone you know, with better pace than you and they're fitter than you, well, you're, you might just lose a match and just, you know, try and uh, have them buy you a beer afterwards. But of course, uh, you know, I mean, that's 
Not quite. 100% accurate. If I play someone who has a really good pace, and I know I'm outmatched in that regard, which is often, almost always, in every regard, let's just say that, I, I'll probably just try and vary it a lot. I'll, I'll do lobs, I'll do slower lengths, I'll do working boats. hit every ball hard and it's easier to do when the ball's coming fast back at them no no left there so if you vary the pace on them they're actually a little bit uncertain around how it's going to come back how they're going to swing they're wasting a lot of energy trying to up the pace on you so it's really just variation well seven what is this eight eight seven now seven all seven all this is a faster game than the uh, previous one, but it's been really interesting to see. Douglas is trying to pick up, but it's gotten a bit sloppy from both players. Yeah. Oh. Oh, and Malik just hit him with a serve. Yeah, not very often. He went for it again. Almost got the backcourt. Uh, we have a little metal strip here at the backcourt. Yes. Nice shot. That was a fantastic backhand ball. Now it came up a bit, and it was very risky. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm going to go to a limb here and say if Malik goes up two love, I know there's quite a bold statement. He's winning three love. I know. I know. That's that's outlandish. I've been really impressed with uh, how Malik is swimming so far. Yep. He has winners. He can, he can move well. He's smart on court. There we go. Yep. A little cheeky in the last ball there. He, he kind of just stood there and assumed Douglas had hit it to him. He actually did. Maybe he saw something we didn't. That's interesting. Oh. That's interesting. I just think Douglas is too loose with his length. He's giving up too many opportunities. Like in the mid court, his length coming out a little bit loose. It's like four floorboards out. Malik's a little bit tighter, a little bit deeper. Oh, for myself, four floorboards out. I'd be ecstatic. That's a great length. For these guys, that's that's terrible. That's garbage. Yeah, that's really interesting. They, did, they didn't take two minutes. And it's interesting that neither guy does look tired at all. Yeah. I would try mind games sometimes myself when I play the boss, but I'm just too dumb. Yeah, we haven't seen that at all. No, it's been very clean. Yep. I've tried using my body to my advantage before. It didn't work too well. I'm just not a big guy. I can't block this out. I just get run over.
I just think I think Andrew is he's just too loose. He'll hit like he'll hit four or five really good lengths and then one that's just four feet off the wall or short. Yep. Well, I've seen Andrew play a number of times, and uh, he has a lot of creativity. He's a great player. And maybe his length is just a bit off today, or maybe Malik is forcing it out of him. Another question from Lee here around uh, Kansas City or the Chargers tonight. I know nothing about football, so I can't really speak to it. Kansas City? Uh, Gary Sullivan says Chargers. So put, oh, the Argos. Derek says Argos, so ignore that. Um, Gary says Chargers. And Gary knows how to make a bet. I would love to see this uh, this match go extra games. Although so far tonight we haven't really uh, we haven't really been uh, gifted with extra games. Yeah, but this is this is better from Andrew. It looks like he's actually slowed the pace down a bit. He's trying to get his length deeper, reset the rally, as Jared was saying. Oh, I mean that was that was interesting. I don't think he meant it to be just like that. Yeah, it worked out well. All right, next question here up here from the group chat is. Uh, would you bet on Derek or Brad, best of five? I think it's to you, Gary. I think it's to you, yeah. Me, Gary Sullivan. Best of five. I guess you're not always right, man. Uh, okay. That's fair. Yeah, this is pretty good from uh, Douglas so far. He's getting his length deeper. He's bouncing a little deeper. Oh, I just had to talk to him. Now he's at two in a row that are quite short. He's just having to put in too much work and give in Malik opening. Yeah, that, that was even that. Sure, you hit it hard, but it bounced at the service box. Really? You think so? I'd be surprised if both players weren't feeling anything at this point. Um, Malik looks relatively fresh in the sense that he's he's not struggling to catch his breath. He's moving really well. He's still very aggressive. Yeah. Oh my god. That poor mother. That poor mother. No, oh, yeah. That's a nice shot. What a catch. And you got this too. Yeah. Oh, what a point. What a point. That was a fantastic point. But at the same time, it's really Malik showing that he can get everything back. 
And so it's going to be in Douglas's head. How do I put this guy away? I got his five good shots in a row. Ah, uh, and see, he made a little too fine. I'm going to try and force it a bit. Yeah, good comment there, Lee. I, I think Malik does a little better. Um, Douglas has a tendency or a preference to want to just inject pace into the game. And sometimes there's there's times to inject pace and there's times to not do that and to keep your opponent's pace against you or against them. And Malik is really good at just sort of feeling out the rally. Not giving many openings, like just handling the mid court. Well, that shot was great, but back in it. Yeah. Yeah, that was a mistake. And he was given an open and Douglas under pressure. You don't have to hit such a good shot there. Just get it deep. Just put him back in the corner. I really want to see this go extra games. And it looks like he's got an opening here. He's, yeah. That's, a, that's an interesting call. I think, I believe they're giving a lead. He could have got it. Ooh. Yeah, that's a tough call. I'd like to see a replay of this. Well, it sounds like our members, yeah. That is an actual fact. So we've had the, uh, there's a sauna expert group that goes around, uh, affiliated with the Guinness Book of Records, finding the best saunas in the world. And Canada's uh, saunas, we're ranked number three. Which is, I think that's quite good. There's almost a, a frantic feeling right now from Andrew. Like he's he's kind of panicking a bit. Yeah. Yeah. And I oh that was that was a poor, poor decision. Yeah, poor shot. You know we've all been there before. When we feel the match like we're off and it starts slipping away from us. And uh, I can sort of feel that now from Douglas. And he's going to start overhitting it again, probably, and lose his length as a result. Or, or just hit a fantastic little boat and uh, tie it up again. The crowd is electric. You really should get that out with six. They're shocking themselves. So this here is probably the most important point of the, of the game. That was a nice attempt there. Nah, he's just, he's just slamming the ball. He's going to really focus more on what he's going to do with it. No, he got it. That was clean. Alex not happy with it, but that was a clean pickup.
Nice blank. That was much better than there from Buck. Yep, take take the advantage. I gotta say, Malik, Malik, one of his best qualities is he can soak up damage really well. He doesn't really seem to save him. He'll get it back, like, even there, he's under pressure, he just chips it back, just chips it back. Yep, he has, he does have fantastic, yeah, fantastic preparation. A very proper swing. Great movement. And under there, he's under pressure. Nice little cross foot lob. Ooh, that one was not as good. Yep. Yeah, I noticed that too. No. No, that wasn't that did that last I don't know. That last movement there from Alex did look tired. And uh, this is interesting. I'm wondering if I get this game. What do you do with it? We can see, we can see five, ooh, that's a, yeah, yeah, you gotta step up. I think they're giving a let. Yep, yep. He moved backwards, the ball's in front of him, and he moved backwards, and you really gotta, I mean, I, we get it. Yeah, that's a stroke. So, uh, I don't know if it'd be, heard that here that uh, Gary is cheering for USA. Gary's actually Scottish, so um Oh. No, there's no such thing as Gary can. Well I guess you can always suspend him. But then it's temporary, right? If he comes back after so Yeah we're we're hoping we'll cross this thing. This is a big, big point. That is a great length. And now, you know, the pressure's all on Malik here. He's really had a couple of tough rallies, made some bad decisions. Yeah. Yeah. It's very difficult to read it. Now, if I was Douglas here, though, I would just be doing exactly what he's doing. Get it down the back of the wall, keep it tight. Force Malik to try and win a point. Like that, like that. But look. Yep. Yep. But look at the look at the point he won on the shot he won on. Douglas hit a cross court that bounced in the service box. That looks too good for that. You've got to get it either deeper or a lot shorter. Everything else in the rally he did was was really really good. That's a nice shot. Uh, it didn't really capitalize on it, but not much else you can do there. You gotta worry about Malik being coming back. Yep. Yep. 100%. And Malik, unfortunately, is There we go. No lie. Wow, we got ourselves a game here. What? Oh my. We gave that a lot. That was that was an OLED. All the way it was an OLED. Wait, I, I will give credit to Douglas. He took that quite well. Another no let. That's also an OLED. Okay. Well that one was an OLED proper. Alright, we got ourselves a match here, ladies and gentlemen.
we're back. Uh, quick first point. Malik goes up one nothing off of a very short rally. We're waiting to Brad for Brad to get back from the number one. Douglas, another quick rally, ties it up one all. Really, neither player is looking to, to elongate any of these rallies. Maybe they're starting to feel the, the pressure and the, the drain on them physically. Oh, once again, Douglas, a loose forehand drive, pulls it out into the middle, Malik gets an easy stroke. fall back into that rhythm of backhand drives. Oh, Malik, a nice cross court. Clips the nick. Goes up 3-1. Douglas needs to stop this. Go back to his straight drives, getting it deep, get in front of him, play the volley. Our lead commentator, Brad Hanabury, is just eating a slice of pizza. Malik fires in a volley drop, very tight backhand volley drop. 7-3, that's unfortunate. I, you know, I, I was kind of hoping Douglas could follow up that momentum for the last game, bring this one to five. I know the crowd wants to be a five-gamer. And uh, it's kind of falling apart for him now. And it's all too, he doesn't really look tired. Question for anyone listening right now, just making sure you can hear myself and Derek. Derek, can you say something? Yeah, I was, I've been speaking since the very beginning of this game, but unsure if the connection is working. Anyway, did anyone hear Derek talk there? Just let me know in the, uh, in the YouTube chat. match is almost over and that's unfortunate that was a quick well it's not over yet but it's been a quick game so far it's interesting how that can work you, you get someone who wins a game momentum on their side they come on the next game 
where they take the foot off the gas, or the opponent picks it up. They change their strategy. You know, this is a big shift after a two minute break. Would you have seen that same shift in momentum if they had not taken a break? Probably not. Oh, uh, Derek, they can't hear you. They can hear you, yep. Thank you, Dylan. No, uh, that's a safety, safety let, yeah. I would have tried to play it, but it was also into his body. That was uh, <laughs> a bit of a gamesmanship let. You just don't, maybe you didn't want to play it. Oh, wow. oh no. Bad, bad miss. I, maybe Malik's yeah. gotten a little too comfortable here. And they're going for a cross for Nick. I don't know. 5-9, I mean, he's, he's got a nice lead. Odds are in his favor, but you don't want to, you want to get a little too comfortable. That's a risky to, uh, <laughs> to get a big upset. Oh, Ooh, that looked like it might have been a double. Pickup. Fantastic finish. Now. The refs didn't pick up what looked like a double. It was yeah, pretty, some questions pretty close. The crowd on that pickup from uh, Douglas. I had a pretty good view of it. It was it was tough to see. Wow. Seven Malik nine. is showing his first signs of mentally uh, a little in yep. fragility. Yeah, I, I, I he's think he's going for. It. He's trying to end this, and it's actually yep. costing him. Kind of. Ooh. That's yeah. That, I would rather see that be a stroke or a no let yep. on the no let side. Yeah, same here. I think that was a, a weak ass. It, it could be one or the other, really. And I don't have a good vantage point for it. Well, well, that made up for it. Three match ball, four match balls. Yeah. It's going to be tough to come back from that. Yeah. There's been very seldom in this match that Douglas has put together a streak of points. So yeah. I don't see that happening all of a sudden now. But Malik's hit a lot of unforced errors. Oh no! Yeah, there you go. Well, pretty good match, both players. But Malik came out ahead. He was uh, he was just a stronger player today. He did everything better from every area of the court. He did. Uh, Malik's happy to get out of that right now in four games.